Looking a little bit calmer, we do have a Colorado low that has been uh, moving from Ontario through Quebec and now into Atlantic Canada. That is going to change your temperatures dramatically across the Maritimes. A big fall thanks to a cold front moving through, but hasn't it been warm? What a glorious day temperature-wise across the Maritimes. You have that warm southwesterly wind. We do have a wind warning, though, for the eastern northern peninsula. Winds gusting to 100K. We've got storm surge warnings in places like Anacostia, Natashquin, uh, St. Anne de Mont, and up towards uh, areas of coastal Labrador, a freezing rain warning, all because of the same system. So here it comes. This is the one that was responsible for all that nasty weather in Ontario and Quebec through the day on Tuesday. Here comes the cold front, rain ahead of it, and then along it and behind it, ice pellets, freezing rain, and eventually snow. Uh, and then it all clears out. But reasons why, but look at the mess there, my goodness. Uh, a cold day on Wednesday. Toronto could have an all-time record low on Wednesday morning for that date, for April. April 16th, uh, minus 7. The old record, minus 5.6 from 1980. I say we bring all five in now. That's it. Not Never mind future weather stars. Okay, Kitchener. This is what it was looking like on Tuesday morning. Much to the chagrin of many people in southern Ontario. Temperatures had been in the 20s or high teens the last couple of days, Sunday, Monday. Glorious warmth. And then it all ended. Cold front moved through. Snow came down, and in the end, Kitchener picked up about five centimeters, a little far farther to the north, a little more, eight centimeters in Fergus, one to three in Toronto, so Buttonville one, um, Pearson three centimeters. Just enough to slick up the roads and make a mess of the morning commute, right? Yeah, and it was cold too. Temperature dropped through the day. Uh, there was a wind chill and didn't get much better than minus one. Wednesday morning could be very cold. In fact, record breaking cold forecast for Toronto to start the day minus seven. Uh, the record is 1980 minus 5.6 from 1980. Next system moving into the north will bring some snow, Wawa, Thunder Bay two to four centimeters. Well, thank you for this. Stay away from this kind of thing, obviously, and with the rain that came down, it makes it that much more treacherous. Speaking of which, I've got impactful videos from here at home and around the world in population 315. <laughs> I love that. Uh, a mild day, beautiful day to be down by the beach. Temperatures very warm across the maritime provinces. That's going to change though. Here's the deal. Wednesday, these are your afternoon temperatures, but the morning will be very mild. You'll see uh, temperatures like 13, 14 degrees to start the day. And then the cold front comes through and boom, down goes your temperatures by 10 degrees in some cases by three o'clock. So you'll go from 13 to three uh, in Charlottetown, for example. Rainfall warnings in place. St. John, uh, St. Stephen, Grand Manan, uh, we're looking at 30 millimeters of rain or so, and then that rain will change over in some cases briefly to freezing rain or ice pellets, and that the same is true for the maritime provinces in general, and then behind that, a little bit of snow. You won't see heavy amounts of snow because the front is drying, that's the good news, but it's certainly bringing that colder air, and there's Shelburne's long-range forecast, so Thursday only four degrees. It was a area, look at this, what a mess. Danny, thank you for this. Yeah, incredible stuff. So causing all kinds of problems. The rain not helping, obviously. We've got rainfall warnings in the area, and that's because of the passage of this cold front. This is your East National Forecast. We're taking a look at the front as it passes through. It had an impact on Ontario, then Quebec, eventually into Atlantic Canada. Behind the cold front, much colder air along it. Freezing rain, ice pellets, behind it snow as well. So a little bit of snow for the Maritimes, not a lot for you. Uh, and ahead of it, because it'll be warm ahead of the cold front, rain, and in some cases, heavy amounts of rain. So we had those rainfall warnings in place for Quebec. That will be easing through the overnight hours as the whole system moves east towards the Maritimes. Montreal's long-range forecast looks like this. So a dramatic cool down. You've already felt it. it was dropping through the day on Tuesday, and then Wednesday only one degree, well below seasonal norms. Strong winds and rain in Bowmanville. That's all because of that same cold front moving through. Here are some of the rainfall totals. This is over a few days, obviously. 35 millimeters in Hamilton, 49 in Sudbury, 35 in uh, Ottawa, 31 in Coburg. So you get the idea. Uh, and then the snow behind it. Uh, that's what you woke up to, obviously, on Tuesday. Wednesday will be a very cold start to the day. Yes, make sure the kitties are dressed warmly. Temperatures will recover in the long-range forecast. Did you check out the lunar eclipse? 
Um, they're not sure exactly why yet the landslide happened, but messy situation. We've had a lot of rain. Uh, there has been ice breaking up on the waterways, obviously. Uh, Quebec has, in many communities, have been under a flood watch. We've got this cold front that's moving through. That's dropping temperatures behind it. You certainly would have felt it through the day in Montreal. Very mild to start, cold behind it, and all of this pushing through the maritime. So rain ahead of it ice pellets, freezing rain, and eventually snow and temperatures dropping. So you'll have your warmest temperatures in the morning. Incidentally, Newfoundland and B.C. will be the warmest places in the entire country on Wednesday. Everyone in between, cold. Got slippery again. Snow, ice pellets, that was the way you started the day. Kitchener picked up five centimeters. Fergus, eight centimeters of snow. It's going to be a cold start to the day on Wednesday. A record-breaking cold, potentially. I know Toronto has uh, the chance of breaking a record. System moving into the north, dropping a couple of centimeters of snow. Thunder Bay to Wawa on Thursday, two to four centimeters. Coming up, we're going to take a look at the long-range forecast for the country. That's with Suzanne and Dr. Doug. Don't go away.